So apparently it helps to remind you to like this video if you haven't already. If any thought comes to your head throughout the duration of this video, even if it's Dan bro, you look at my cue, comment it, please. And lastly, subscribe. So today, of course, we will be looking at the Salehe Mbemberi Clarks collaboration. But before we get into that, we do have some pickups. First off, shout out to Wax London for sending over the care package. I was initially sold on them when they first reached out for a potential partnership. They really emphasized their sustainable focused mindset. Who doesn't like that? I know I do. First off, with the Wax London pieces, we have the Stoner Jumper in charcoal. It great quality great fitting piece it's one that you could definitely dress either up or down personally i'd probably wear this a little bit more on the dress down side of things probably pair it with a beanie some dressier but not too dressy pants boots a nice bag and i'm ready to go next we have some accessories first one being this fisherman beanie in navy believe it or not this is probably my favorite piece that they sent over i've been looking for the perfect fitting beanie for literally forever and by the grace of god he sent over wax london also we got the trek socks in navy i've been trying to get my sock game up so these from wax london will definitely be a nice starting point lastly for the wax london pickups we have the heavy twill kurt trousers in black i'm really messing with this piece as well i'd personally probably style them cuffed with a nice low cut footwear piece i'm really loving the shape Shape of the overall pant as well as the small accents such as the lowered back pocket as well as the drawstring to name a few is definitely giving off very clean Japanese Americana vibes so again a big thanks to the people over at wax London if you guys saw anything that you liked or just want to check out some of their other pieces I'll leave all their info as well as links to their website in the description below. And with that said, that leads us into our main event of the day, the Salehe Benberry Clarks collaboration. So this is the Salehe Bemberry Clarks collaboration debut, and it comes in the form of what they're calling the Mud Moss Lugger, which essentially is Salehe Bemberry's play on the original Lugger model that debuted nearly 40 years ago. It released in three colorways, an orange, a green, and a taupe colorway, which is the colorway I opted for. So the silhouette itself is pretty much split into four panels. The toe box piece is in this textured almost rough feel it contrasts to the rest of the shoe which is more of a smooth feel and on that toe box features the abstract print in black you have that unique yet true to the original asymmetric lacing system wax laces brown tongue this i want to say neoprene material at the lining of the shoe featuring more of that salehe benberry abstract print giving off an almost cheetah print vibe in my opinion a cork insole with clark and Salehe Benberry branding all sitting on that super thick crepe wallaby cup sole units. So I went true to size on these and I think they fit perfectly. And in terms of comfort, these are out of this freaking world. I've never owned a pair of Clarks before, so I don't know if it's just this universally known thing that Clarks will be the most comfortable thing you ever put on your feet, but these are. I was really drawn to these almost immediately due to the unique creative yet clean look these had if you're interested in picking up a pair i know there's certain places where they're still in stock so i'll leave the links in the description below you're welcome so that is the salehe benberry clarks let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below please <laughs> So I wanted to build off last video where I touched on my top 10 movies of 2022 and kind of create this like post vid segment 
for all my movie peoples and talk about mainly recently watched new films from this year but every now and then if i really enjoy a older film i'll talk about it as well so the first film is my personal first 2023 released watch infinity pool directed by brendan cronenberg almost a week later and i still don't know my entire feelings on this film it's definitely super weird and will 100 percent be hated by the masses by the mainstream but it's still a film that i can't stop thinking of and definitely 100% requires a rewatch. My initial feelings were that the first half of the film was really strong, I was immersed, there was great acting, great editing, an interesting story, but once the halfway point or so came around, it kind of fell off for me a bit. At times it felt like things were just happening, like granted very, very, very weird things, but they were just happening. Like I said, it definitely requires a second watch. I wanna learn more about the lore and the meanings of the film, and ultimately just what was trying to be said. Overall, a pretty good film to start off 2023. And yes, just like in every movie, Mia Goth was the highlight. Yay! Second and lastly, Missing, directed by Nicholas D. Johnson and Will Merrick. Unlike Infinity Pool, there's really not much to say about this one. It's a very straightforward film. It was very YouTube made-esque, which necessarily isn't a bad thing. They didn't make me mad at all. Was fun, entertaining, had comedic moments and elements via the great editing. And the editing was that, it was great. It was definitely the highlight of this film. The mystery was mysterious enough, way better. I'm not even gonna say in my opinion because it's a fact. Way better than Glass Onion. I freaking hate that movie. The plot twist was plot twisty enough. And all in all, I had a great time watching it. Peace out.